Hey guys, and I guess welcome to another vlog. It is Friday, why are you attacking me? Oh my goodness, okay, hug time, yes, yes, some hugs. Um, it's Friday, this is the first time this week that I have vlogged, thank you. Thank you, pup, thank you. Um, anyway, so yeah, this vlog is more than likely gonna end up being like a cleaning vlog just because I have no footage and this house is a disaster. So I wanted to hop on and talk to you guys about why there is no vlog, why there have been no plan with me's. I mean, I think you guys kind of know what's going on, but there's some stuff that's gonna happen, some changes for the shop, or at least something I wanna try. You had to bring that ball right here, didn't you? Um, anyway, so as you guys know, mom's been gone for the past couple of weeks and I have been just really stressed out trying to keep up with orders. Um, Succulent Premium all shipped either yesterday or the day before and it was sitting at 13 days processing times, um, which I don't like that. I don't like for anything to sit for longer than honestly like a week. And generally when mom is here, I can make that happen. We can get them out right at about a week, but that still is just a constant, non-stop, back-to-back, -back, like never-ending cycle of releasing and then trying to get the last thing finished and just repeating that over and over again. And honestly, before these big $2 Tuesday releases, not the clear foil because those are ready to go, but the but the other ones that we had started releasing, it wasn't quite so bad, um, but those releases, we've been selling so many of them. And I don't wanna stop doing those because you guys seem to really like them. So we need to figure out a way for to kind of like balance because since mom has been gone, I don't think there's been a day that I've worked less than 12 hours. There hasn't been a day that I've taken off, um, at least not the whole day. Actually, no, I don't think any days because I've been working Anyway, that's not the point. It's just, it's been a lot. I'm incredibly stressed out and I feel like for myself, personally, I'm getting very burnt out on just the way that things are going. So I think that instead of continuing that, I need to like step back and deal with the way that things are happening. So um, that's also the reason there's been no plan with me's. There's been just nothing on YouTube, which, Granted, YouTube, I say this all the time. I'm sorry, I'm trying to see what he's done to my floor. Um, I say this all the time, but like YouTube is not my job. That's not my main like area that I'm concerned with. That will always come second to the shop and to me getting you guys orders out. Um, I do try to keep up with YouTube as much as I can, but <laughs> lately I just haven't had the time to sit down and plan. And I've not had the time to even plan other than all pin for just me at all. Like my Aaron Condren is blank, my V6 is blank, my um, new rings are blank. The only thing I've been able to sit down and use is just my all pin and that's just me trying to figure out what needs to get done for each day. Also, I don't know if this is showing up, but looking in the viewfinder, this eyebrow is like way darker than this eyebrow. <laughs> Maybe that's just, hopefully when I'm editing it won't be so bad, but right here it looks pretty bad. Um, anyway, so that's, it's just so much. And this has been going on for a while. And even when mom is here, she'll come in and work and then she leaves. And half of the time I'm still working until 9 p.m. So that's 7 a.m. until 9 p.m., if not later. Um, and it's just, it's getting to where I'm really, I'm really burnt out. So instead of like totally crashing, which is what's going to happen soon, I feel like, I want to step back and try out something new. Um, so I'm going to talk to you guys about that. So basically what I want to do, and we've done this before, but I want to try it again. It's very difficult to keep up with it, but we've never done it, I don't think, with a bi-weekly release, so maybe that'll help. So what I'm wanting to do is bi-weekly releases, which will be large releases. It'll essentially be the same as if we were doing it every week, hopefully, um, but Ozzy, I swear. <laughs> but... Um, I lost my train of thought because I'm in this ball right now. Can you guys hear it? It actually says things. Um, 
we are going to try to do three to five collections every two weeks and I want them all to be completely ready to ship. So that's what I'm going to try to do to alleviate some of the stress in my life mm -hmm. is switch over to ready to ship, which means for you guys, it'll be a one to three business day processing time because having things sit for longer than a week stresses me out even more. It just seeing that there are orders that have been there for that long and that I can't get to them yet because I'm still working through something else or I'm still working through them for that matter really, really stresses me out. So I wanna try ready to ship one to three business days. Um, that means if you order on Friday, <laughs> Your business day will be Friday, but then Saturday and Sunday won't count. Um, just throwing that out there. I don't think it's going to be that it'll take me that long even. I think what'll happen is Friday on new releases, since they're already all done, I'll sh be able to ship most of them Friday. Um, or ship most of them Saturday, or not Saturday, but Monday. So I would be packaging them Sunday night. I want to try that. I don't know if it's something that we'll be able to keep up with, to be completely honest. Um, but I want to at least try it for the next couple of weeks. So by the time this vlog goes up, you guys will have already seen that I did not release anything this past Friday. And that is because I want to release next Friday and it all be ready to go. Um, plus, after the last couple of weeks that I've had, I feel like I need some like downtime from having so many orders to consistently push out. So, <laughs> so that's what we're gonna try. Um, that's obviously gonna mess up $2 Tuesday a little bit, which I hate, but at the same time, I just have to, <laughs> I have to do something. So let me, I'm gonna pull up the Instagram post that I made because I kind of explained how $2 Tuesday and everything was gonna work. I'm gonna set you guys because my arm is getting incredibly tired up here on the couch. A e maybe, nope, there we go. That'll work, yeah. Um, and as you can see, like my house, I can't, I have not been able to clean, I've not been able to do anything, which adds to that level of stress with these orders when I walk out every morning and the house looks like this. Um, and it's just because I, I literally haven't had the time. I've been trying to like clean a little bit as I can, but like there's dishes in my sink and there's never dishes in my sink and it bothers me. Anyway, I also do want to say that I'm in no way complaining that the shop is doing so well and that we have so many orders coming in and that you guys are so great and all of that. This is in no way me complaining about that. I am so grateful for the shop and I feel so incredibly blessed for each and every one of you that orders from me. I just want to make it better for me as well as for you guys because I know nobody wants to wait two weeks for their order to ship. Um, I feel like having this faster turnaround time will also be much better for you guys because you're not waiting for stuff for so long. So, there's a couple of things. Number one, and I did not talk about this on Instagram, mystery kits. I honestly think we're gonna have to go back to mystery kits being a subscription. That way, there's something that I can work on in advance because as of right now, I can't because I don't know what we're gonna sell of them. Um, hello, 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 yes, hello, I know, I know. I, I know. Anyway, so I think we may have to go back to those being a subscription-based thing. I know a lot of people like that. A lot of people were not happy that I switched it from that because then they forget about it and they end up not being able to get their mystery kits. But I think we're gonna have to go back to that so that I have a number at the beginning of the month that we can go ahead and get those going so that they are ready to go. Um, and I didn't talk about that on Instagram. I, I blanked on that, but so for $2 Tuesdays, we may bounce back and forth. So the clear foil that I had manufactured, there's still a decent amount of it. There's a couple that we're almost out of. The, the release that we did last week were hollow, silver glitter hollow, gold glitter hollow, all of that was involved. Hollow is running really low. Silver is running really low. Rose gold on some sheets is running really low. So I think that we're gonna try to do every other week a clear foil until that's all gone. I've already said that I'm not gonna order any more of that. We're not gonna continue on with manufactured stuff. It is really nice to have all of that sitting there for weeks that like I can't possibly do a $2 Tuesday, but I don't wanna continue on with it because so many people have a problem with it. So we're gonna do those until they run out, just kind of switching between colors. I may do some weeks where it's like all of the colors in a certain sheet because we are running low on certain ones, like I said. But for the other $2 Tuesday, basically what's gonna happen is 
I can't do the all three option anymore. Um, and that's the one where you could get all three foil colors for a certain sheet. That one has to go because that's what's gonna really throw off stock counts. And then for everything else, it'll be sets because I would say 80% of the orders that come in for $2 Tuesday are for a set. And then the rest are split between that all three option or individual sheets. So what I'm gonna do is split stock between sets and individual sheets. Um, and I'll kind of keep an eye on it because if sets sell out, I'm going to start pulling from those individual sheets because like I said, those we do more of, but they're going to have to be ready to ship, which means they're going to be limited stock and they will probably sell out. Um, and that's going to be for everything. I think that with kits, we probably won't sell out. I should have enough to last for like the next week at least. But for $2 Tuesday, it's probably going to happen that it'll sell out, especially because we do so many different foil colors. That is a lot for us to get through. So if $2 Tuesday is something you're interested in, I would just say to keep an eye out for it and to place your order early on. Um, that way you're not having to worry about it selling out, but I do think that they will sell out. And we're just gonna have to kind of like figure this out because it's been so long since I've been ready to ship. And I think the last time that I was, we, there, the foil wasn't involved. Foiling is what takes up a ton of time. Um, so yeah, we will attempt to do the best that we can, me and mom, once she gets back. And just kind of adjust from there. And if this isn't something that I feel like we can keep up with, then we'll just have to go back to what we were doing and make the processing times one to two weeks. Like I said, when mom's here, we're generally at one week for processing. But while she's been gone, I've been hitting that end of that two weeks and it makes me feel terrible and I don't wanna do that. So maybe I'll have to plan it around when she leaves on these trips, something else has to happen. Um, but anyway, so I'm thinking three to five collections every week. I've already got like for next week, two collections totally designed that I'm about to start mass printing. That means I can go ahead and do a couple of more and a couple, couple of more, a couple more and keep going with those as well. Um, Mom will be back the 27th of this month, which I believe is a Tuesday. And then after she gets back, I would assume that's, oh, it's a Wednesday. I'm hoping she'll be ready to work by Friday. Um, <laughs> there wasn't a big time zone change down where she is. It's like an hour. So I'm thinking that she's not going to need to like really adjust to being back. Um, so hopefully she can get back to work on Friday. We can work on just switching all of this over. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to tell you guys though, like I wanted to hop on here and tell you guys why we're doing it, exactly how it's gonna work, the fact that this may not last that long, but I want it to. <laughs> so we're gonna try and see how it goes. Um, this is also a really great way for me for designing. A lot of the times I have got like 10 plus sets of artwork that I want to design kits for, but I can't do it because I don't have the time. I know that we can't release more than two in a week. Um, so yeah, I have already got two done. I want to get at least two more done, possibly one more done. And then I also think this will help us out a lot for releasing new clear foil because I bought all those new foil colors and we released them in the galaxy overlays, but that's all that we had time for. So I'm hoping that maybe this way we'll also have time for some of that. Um, but yeah, so I'm sorry, this was really long and rambly. If you guys have any questions about how this is working or anything like that, Leave me a comment down below and I will respond to everybody. But um, yeah, so for the rest of this vlog, <laughs> I'm probably just gonna clean the house and set the tripod up so that you guys, you know, have something because that's really all that this is gonna be is me talking right now and this house has to get clean. So that's, maybe I can do that. Also, I do need to really get in and do the office. I keep saying that because I'm gonna be mass printing so much this weekend, maybe I could film that for you guys and actually like, con marie the office like really go through the office um so i guess you guys will find out in just a second which one it's gonna be um but yeah so i thank you guys for being really patient with me as well during this time when i'm taking the full processing time i've not had any like messages or anything like when is my order gonna ship so i thank you guys for your patience with me uh during all of this and i just really want to get it to where you guys are getting things way quicker and it's also easier on our end so yeah um, but yeah, that was really long and rambly and I'm sorry. I am going to go, I literally have one order that I'm about to take as well as some other stuff that I can't talk about yet. And that's it, we're done with everything, or I'm done with everything, except for mystery kits, which don't ship until the 1st of April. Mom gets back the 27th. I'm gonna have them all printed and ready to go and hopefully she can walk in on Friday, which would be 
the 29th, get them all foiled, and then I can cut them all that weekend, and then April 1st is a Monday, Should that should be fine. If I'm able to get through everything that I'm wanting to do for this big first ready to ship release, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on April Mystery. Um, otherwise though, I'm gonna let mom do it right when she comes back because she has no issue getting all of this foiled in a day. It's just the problem of her getting a huge stack foiled while I'm trying to cut the additional pages and then I've got this big stack over here that also needs to be cut. That's where we're running into issues. Um, also, I'm currently running off of three machines and I have like 11 or 12. So I need to get in and really figure out what's going on with some of these other machines because I think that could help um, with this a lot as well. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go get that done and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, this hair, wow, wow, wow. Um, it is Friday and I haven't been vlogging. Um, as I've said like 400 times, mom hasn't been here so it's been a lot on me to keep up with the shop. Um, so she got back, I picked them up on Wednesday. Today, like I said, it's Friday. She has not been back to work yet, but they're gonna come tomorrow. Um, Mike's gonna mow for me and she's gonna work. So they're back, um, which means I'm gonna be back to more of my normal type stuff. Um, so I have a little bit of footage that I may throw into this vlog that was from last week where I did attempt to vlog and then I just, I was just, there was too much happening. So I decided that that had to stop while I worked on other things. So it's Friday, I released our first, also Ozzy's in the bed napping, so I'm actually like sitting on my couch. Um, I released our very first ready to ship release, I guess, of the first two collections, and it was really exciting because I released it at noon, and then I already had some orders that needed to go to the post office from the day prior, but like as the orders were coming in, I was able to go ahead and print invoices and take, I don't know, like, I. I from the from noon until maybe three ish, I probably took seventy five percent of all of the orders already, um, which you know I'll have to do it again Monday or pack them Sunday and take them Monday. But that feels like so good to be able to actually um, do that. So anyway, that today has been packaging orders, cutting orders. The only thing like everything is ready to go except for Cruise Premium and it's done. I just need to cut it. It was pressing. So um, I've said that before, when it gets ran through laser and then foiled, the Premium Matte curls really badly. So that needs to be cut, but it's not much that's left to be done on that. And that'll be done tomorrow. Um, I've got April Mystery mass printing right now so that mom can foil that tomorrow. Those aren't supposed to go out until the first. What is today? The 20th? Yeah, so we'll probably ship those Monday. Um, but yeah, so everything is going pretty well right now. I may go ahead and get her going on $2 Tuesday so that we can have that ready to ship. That's kind of the only thing I haven't figured out yet is $2 Tuesday. But, um, now that she's back, it's not all on me. I don't think it's going to be as much of an issue as it was. So yeah, I'm trying to have a relaxing Friday night. I just sat down, was watching some YouTube videos, and then I looked around and I saw my house, and it is bad. It normally gets bad when mom's gone because all of my focus is on work, um, and it has been for the past couple of weeks. My bedroom isn't bad, I've kept up with that, I've kept up with laundry, um, and then like, yeah, never mind. I was gonna say the kitchen's okay, but it's not. Um, this whole area needs to be dealt with, and then I wanna deep clean the bathrooms, and then I really need to get in and do the office. I think I may do that Sunday. That will be a whole separate video if I end up doing the office that way. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna clean. Also, if I look ridiculous, like if I look kinda like, I don't know, tired, um, I'm trying to not do makeup, which is, it, it, that's it's strange like I, the eyebrows I have to my eyebrows are so awful so I'm doing that but I'm trying to not do foundation and I know like eye stuff um, but my main thing is foundation I want to kind of get to where I don't feel like I have to have on foundation to leave the house I have pretty bad skin I feel like when I was younger I went to tanning beds like three times a week and you can definitely see the sun damage from that. Now I wear sunscreen and all of that all the time, but a little bit late. Um, I am doing like a tiny bit of concealer underneath my eyes because I have really like dark 
Um, they're not even dark circles. I've thought about getting some filler put under there because it's just where the skin is like, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, either way, even with concealer on, if I look down, you guys can see that right there. That's not even the color, it's just the way that like my skin kind of goes down. Anyway, I'm trying that out. So if I look like I'm really tired or like, I don't know, I have no makeup on, so that's what's going on other than my eyebrows. Anyway, that was so rambly. I just heard Ozzy, he is now awake. Hi baby. That was a nice like half hour that you slept. It was real nice. Anyway, I am, hey baby, that's a nice down dog, yes. I'm gonna clean this house. I'm going to probably have some wine while I do it. I thought about putting the tripod up and filming a clean with me, but I've had just so much work that I really feel like I need to do like me time. <laughs> and me time is gonna be me cleaning this house. Um, and then some wine, some YouTube. I've not like watched any of my YouTube stuff that I normally watch. I'm, I don't have cable, I don't like TV that much. Um, I'll watch some stuff on Netflix, but my main thing is like my YouTube. So I'm trying to kind of catch up on all of the YouTube videos, all of that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to hop on and kind of Ozzy's just staring at me. Kind of uh, update you guys. Hi. Hi monster. Hi monster. Anyway, I just wanted to update you guys um, kind of just like what's going on and just I guess kind of an intro even to this vlog. Uh, last time I talked to you guys, I think it was in the previous vlog, I was about to start keto. I did keto for I think eight days and then I was getting there's a normal sickness with keto and then there's feeling like I'm gonna pass out um, Basically every day I'm doing or most days I'm doing an hour of yoga and then I'm walking about three miles with Ozzy and According to my watch. I'm burning about 600 calories between those two things so for my macros for keto and everything I know I'm supposed to subtract it, but Or add back in the ones that I'm doing, but that's just too much food. I couldn't eat that and it was getting to the point where while I was like doing yoga, when I would come up, I would get incredibly lightheaded. I would feel like I was gonna pass out. And I decided that that just wasn't worth it at all. I was gonna go ahead and just quit um, keto. So I only did it for about a week. I think I lost about 10 pounds in that week, which was nice, um, but I, I'm not gonna continue to do it if I actually feel like I'm gonna pass out all the time. And it wasn't just once or twice, it was like every time I would go to do like yoga or do something that was like more physically demanding, I would get so lightheaded. And as soon as I stopped it, I felt fine. Um, so what I'm doing now is just trying to uh, just eat like better. I've got HelloFresh coming on Monday, which I'm really excited for. And then instead of getting what I would normally do, I've got like a lot of vegan options right now that I'm eating. Um, I really like some of that stuff. And when I went to the store, I decided I would rather just do that than get, I don't know, pizzas or whatever I normally eat. Um, anyway, I'm gonna clean this house. I'm gonna stop rambling. I will hopefully have some interesting footage for you guys. I was gonna get me going to the airport to get mom and Mike and then I forgot, so yeah. Maybe I can get some of them tomorrow. I'll see if mom will maybe let me get some of her foiling. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go clean this house and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. I just remembered why I grabbed this camera in the first place so that I can put these in my rings. I got some happy mail and I was going to just kind of add stuff on to the vlogs as far as this kind of stuff goes. Hi baby. He's getting upset with me now. So I got in some things from Planner Press. I wanted to show you guys really quickly, so God, that light's bad, so that I can put these into my planner. Um, these are all for my rings, my foxy. Anyway, so I just cut that light off and now you're not gonna be able to see. Um, but these are all from Planner Press. So the first thing is just this card that came, super cute. Um, I did not realize that this is what these were. I thought they were cards like this. Instead, they are these really, really tiny little things, which is fine. I just, I don't know why I thought that they were actual 
journal journaling cards I can't talk so I wanted these two right here but again I thought that they were big my fault for not reading um, and then I got this pack this is really difficult to do one-handed so that and then I thought some of these were really pretty but I was hoping I could hole punch these. And then I got, um, these are acetate and they are the, just floral. Actually, is that acetate? I ordered acetate, but this feels, I don't know. Anyway, so, just some florals. It's kind of difficult to see because they are like clear. And then, let me move this out of the way. Oh, here's another one. Okay, hang on. Like, <laughs> maybe I just don't know any enough about these things because this isn't really something I ever do, but let me take this, look at my counter right now. Let me take this somewhere that you guys could actually see it. So, I need something, that one I can like see a floral pattern and maybe these just need to go over something. That one I can see a floral pattern, but like this looks like it just all rubbed off, right? Like shouldn't there be stuff there? And then this one is like just plain almost. Hang on, let me grab something to put behind them. Okay. So you can see like this one has the floral. That one has the floral. Oh, okay. That one, wait, but now I'm so confused. That one has it. Where did the other one I just had go? There we go. Okay, but like this, is that supposed to be? I guess so. I guess once you like lay it, you can kind of see it. I don't know. It just kind of to me looks like it all just rubbed off. And even, even that kind of, I guess once it's on that, you can see it better. But like, maybe that part's supposed to be clear, but it looks like this whole section is missing, right? I don't know, maybe I'm not, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so I got those. Those were all supposed to be acetate, but isn't acetate like that thick, clear? paper this is it's clear but it feels i don't know anyway and then i got these right here this was a set um it was a collaboration with somebody but i can't remember who and these are oh these are just vellum okay so i can't decide if i need a hug a large coffee six shots of vodka or two weeks of sleep that's really cute and then Oh my goodness, I'm losing everything. I'm too creative for nine to five. And then just florals. And then this one right here says self-made. So those are super cute. For some reason, I thought that these were like physical dashboards. And then, I don't know. I, this is why, okay. Honestly, like this is why I don't decorate my TNs because every time so far that I have attempted to, it's a situation like this where I order one thing and then it comes in and I'm like, wait a minute, I thought that it was supposed to be like something else. I ended up in most of my TNs now, the only place that I'll order dashboards from is Lauren Phelps Designs and that's because when they come, they're like actually dashboards or they're like actually like put together, if that makes any sense. Um, I do like the Planner Society's kits, but that's not something I wanna be subbed to. So, 
I don't know. Um, Hello Petite Paper, I got one of hers one time. Hers was really cute. But anyways, this is why I don't even decorate my planners because I always end up doing the wrong thing. And it's always my fault, I'm sure, that I just didn't read. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys those so that I can pop it in my planner. I have dividers on the way from... I honestly can't remember. It's from a, a place on Etsy though, and I'll show you those when they get here. But for now, I am going to go clean and I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it is Monday and I have got some happy mail here that I wanted to show you guys really quickly. Um, my Hello Fresh box also just came, so I need to get into that. Ozzy and I just got back from the lake. Um, I was able to zero out all orders today, which was absolutely amazing because that includes like all of them from this weekend, um, as well as April Mystery shipped, which is exciting. I'm really excited for you guys to start getting those. It's one of my all-time favorites. But anyway, if I can get this open. The first thing that I've got here is from mm, no, Martha Plans, I believe, on Etsy. And one of my PR girls, Kat, had ordered some of these and they were so beautiful. I think it was Kat that ordered these. Pretty sure it was. I cannot, here we go. Uh, so these are dividers for my personal wide. I've got the dashboards now, I've got the dividers, so I'm pretty set, I believe. And if I can get this invoice open, I will show you guys. Here we go. Um, okay, so I got a page marker for $5, which I believe, oh my goodness. I just realized this has my name on it. I didn't order that, how cute is that? So I did the silver glitter for both. Um, so it's like a silver hollow glitter. If you guys can see, let me put it, there we go. How cute is that? She actually did one with my name on it. That's so cute. Um, and then super cute packaging here that is gonna be really hard for me to get open one-handed. Oh, maybe not, okay. Um, so like I said, I did the custom page marker that says today. That was $5 and then I did a set and that was 20. Let's, here we go. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put it against this wood because I feel like you can see it a lot better that way. So this is the custom divider that said today. I believe you can get these to say pretty much whatever you want. Um, so this one and then, I love that she did the one with my name, that's so cute. Here is the set, so it was 20 for the set and I did, um, I was able to request a bow at the beginning of each and I did calendar, daily, weekly, and shop. So you guys can see, calendar, daily, weekly, shop. How cute are these? Oh, I love these, these are super cute. So um, shipping was $4.25, so $30 total. I don't think that's terrible because this is something that I'm gonna use for a really long time. Um, so yeah, super cute. I will link her shop below. I will link everything that I'm like hauling down below. If I forget something, you guys let me know. Um, but I've been just kind of making a list as I edit. But yeah, if you guys can see the sparkle, super, super cute. Okay, and then the next thing that I've got here <clears throat> is from Couture Pens, and this was a swap. She actually reached out to me and asked if I would like to swap, and I said absolutely because I got this in the advent calendar or a advent calendar from her shop, and I adore how this writes. Like, I love how this writes. Um, I'm gonna cut this open with scissors really quickly, and then I will show you guys. Okay, so I got, let's see, quite a few pens, and I'm so excited for this. Um, so far, she's definitely my favorite to order a pen from. Um, not that I even ordered the one that I got, but this is her shop here. She has Instagram as well as a Facebook group. Um, as far as any of the pens that have come from like Etsy shops or like the ones you see on Instagram, um, hers has by far been my favorite. So we have got, let me try to figure out which is which. These are $13.50 a piece. So I got, I believe that this one is Nebula. I believe this one is Envious Emerald. I think this one is Moonstruck. This is Tropical Bloom, I believe. This is the Grumpy Bear collab. And then this one is Serenity, I believe. So I'm gonna, okay, yeah. I'm gonna set the camera down and get these out of the containers and then I'll show you guys each one. Okay, so here we go. So I really love that hers have the little charm that comes off. I think that is so cute. So this one has a little like diamond that comes off 
And then I thought these colors were super, super pretty. So it's almost like an icy blue. And then like some silver and pink crystals. I'm hoping that this is gonna pick up okay. Um, and this one was the Serenity one, I believe. Uh, next, this one was the Grumpy Bear collab. I am obsessed with these colors. So you've got the tan and then the black. And then, how cute is that little Grumpy Bear? Super, super cute. I really love the colors in this one though. And I really like that she does like the black barrel versus just this silver one. I'm not sure if anybody else has that. I'm sure other shops have that as well. But um, there, I've got a silver barrel here, a black barrel, and then this guy is actually rose gold, which is really beautiful. So this is the emerald one. And then this one also has that little diamond. Super cute. Really, really pretty. Um, and then this is the tropical one, which I thought was really fun. And this one actually has a really cute little flower, hibiscus, super cute. And this one is actually like ombre. So you've got the red and then like a peach and a yellow and then this really pretty corally peach color, super cute. And then these two right here are, I'm like I died. These are just beautiful. So these are both, um, let's see, nebula and then moonstruck. And these both have, the little sun, or why do I always say that? The little moon and star, so pretty. So it's not showing up great on camera. Let me put it against this. Yeah, it's still not. This is a really gorgeous pink. So you've got the pink, the black, and then everything in here is like really iridescent. You've got like black iridescent, pink iridescent, and white. It's not showing well. There we go. Really, really pretty. And then this one is all black and then all of the iridescent stones inside. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I love these pens. I just really appreciate how they write. Um, I'm not sure what, let me, like I don't think it's gel. I also really like the twisty. I, I like twisty pens or push pens, either one. So yeah, I don't think it's gel that comes in these. But the way that it writes, I just really, really like, it's super smooth, kind of like a gel, but I think it is a ballpoint. Um, I just, I really like it. So anyway, or maybe it is gel. I can't tell. I really can't tell. So yeah, that is what I've got from um, Martha Plans and then Couture Pens. I'll put the links down below. Um, like I said, I zeroed out all orders today. Oz and I just got back from the lake. I have got a HelloFresh box right there that I need to um, put away. And then mom was working today. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these as I like clean this house. Um, she was working on $2 Tuesday, which is this gorgeous like tropical color set. Um, these are gonna have to be limited to what I'm able to get done by tomorrow. So I believe we did 20 of each set and then 20 of each set for silver and hollow, I believe is what happens. Um, and then 10 for gold, and she's not got rose gold done yet, but it'll be done in the morning. So we're gonna see how that goes. Um, I know it's not enough, but that's kind of all that I'm like capable right now of doing. I think that next week we'll be able to do a larger release. I wanna show you the hollow, but it's not wanting to shine. There we go. I'm obsessed. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna get to cutting those as I just kind of do some stuff around the house. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I'm sorry if it was a little bit boring. By the way, the living room has been rearranged. Just a by the way type of thing. I think I'm about to completely redecorate my house. Um, I think I'm about to like not have a farmhouse style anymore. I think I'm gonna be switching everything over to more of a um, like chic boho slash mid-century modern slash Scandinavian minimal type thing. Um, but I did switch all this out for right now. So that's what I'm working on today. I'm sorry if this vlog was a little bit boring. I don't have a ton of footage, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.